Hello everybody, this is Alex Lewis from the Mul from the Video Game Gurus 101 channel. Now right now I am doing a video as you can see it is new Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. Now I know what you're probably thinking, oh Alex, wait, you have a walkthrough of the Simpsons game. Does that mean you're not doing it anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the Simpsons game. Now what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm going to be doing a um that I'm going to be doing on Tuesdays I'm going to be putting up a Simpsons and on Thursdays I'm going to be putting up a Mario so hope you enjoy this now there's one thing about the Mario franchise that I do not get and it's really the whole part of it a fat Italian plumber saves a gorgeous princess from an evil dragon turtle thing yeah doesn't make any sense first of all I have a First of all, I have one thing wrong with that. First, why are the subjects mushrooms and what? Oh, that's another thing right there, is what you just saw. Why, is every, why does Mario grow when he eats mushrooms? Makes no sense. Another thing, why would they hire an Italian plumber to save a princess of an entire kingdom? Once again, it didn't make no sense. It didn't make no sense. Oh, come on in. Oh my god. Oh, this is something in Pavel Island called the Mega Mushroom! Now, what you really do is you go around destroying things and you see that meter went up. When the meter goes up to full, you get one up every single time you get a full dock. Every single time you get a full thing, see, you get a one up. Now, I still don't know why they would hire a fat Italian plumber to save a princess of a kingdom. Maybe the toes are high. Maybe toes are this high. I don't know. You know what I think? I think Mario was doing the plumbing of the king of the castle when Bowser comes in. And I think the real hero was on a holiday. Well, the real hero was actually killed by Bowser. I'm guessing that he was doing the plumbing and uh, that he just, just decided, Hey, I'm going to save the princess. Maybe I'll... Be famous one day. Now look where he's going. Also, why does Peach like him? Out of every single person he could pick, why does he pick him? Well, it's really something called the superhero, the damsel in distress syndrome is also what I like to call not really that. But the damsel in distress syndrome is really means that when you could fight for yourself, but right when you get your arm, right when you get cash, you turn into a wickling. But that's not really what I want to talk about. It's really, I'm guessing, the hero syndrome. If a hero, if a person saves a girl, then they automatically will be like friend, lover, whatever. That's what I'm guessing. So not really because of how Mario looks, but because he keeps saving every, but because he keeps saving her every single time. Now, off that now. Off the unbeaten path, as you can see, we already beat the first world. It's already that easy. Honestly, the first boss of this world, I don't get why. Well, it kind of makes sense because of the way they do this. Uh, you can see. One second, I need to wall. Now, I'm just saying wall jump, as you probably saw. What you really have to do is to hold. Uh, Mario holds onto a wall and you just jump from wall to wall. Now, I just saw there, that was called a star coin. And what you use for those is that the two things, well, really, they allow you to go to different paths, like different levels and stuff like that. And they also allow you to get to mush, um, one-up houses and power-up houses. Now, the power-up houses, you have a little slot machine thing, and whichever one you hit, you get the power-up. You have uh, four type, like, you have some power-ups. You have the fire, you can see right now what I have right now, the fire flower. You have uh, the mini mushroom. When Mario turns into a mini version of himself where he can jump high, walk on water, he's Jesus. And he can go into small places where I usually can't. And then there's the um, regular mushroom which allows him to turn into Super Mario. Then there is the third power-up. No, that was already the, this, then, then the fourth power up was the shell, which allows him when he duck down, he turns invincible where he can't get hit, but he can't move. Kind of like the Tanuki suit, suit. I think it also helps him swim underwater. Every single time I get it, I usually die in the end. Now, just let me fix the camera. There we go. And now, all I have to do now is 
Do this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on! Oh, man, I fell down. Well, I guess the only thing I can do right now is that I'm just going to cut away to where we last left off. So, I guess I'll see you guys then. No. 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 I'm just kidding now. And there we go, we're back. See how I called it on the third time? I'm awesome. Aren't I a mind reader? Now, really, still the Mario weird. Th the whole thing about Mario is kind of weird. I'm guessing Miyamoto and all the other people are doing mushrooms. Yet, yeah, mushrooms. I know, it's a horrible pun. Very horrible. I am so sorry for that pun. I am not. I just want to say something. There are probably going to be more like that on the way. But I'm probably not lying. They were probably doing mushrooms when they thought of this idea. Now, another thing is that, as you can see right here, no, this is not going to take me to a warp zone. It takes me to the third coin. Da -da -da -da, you got a co You got a green rupee. Oh, that's funny. And see, I am almost about to enter the level. And leap of faith! And crap. There you go. Now, I love the leap of faith thing. And you're probably thinking, oh, you stole that from Steven. No, Steven! S Steven stole it from me. I don't care what he says. I don't care what he s talks about. Steven stole it from me. And as you can see here, instead of going all the way to the one up house, I went to the upgrade house. And see right here, you can see how toys with graves of magic. Waves a magic wand. Wait a minute. If Toadsworth can wave a ma we see mini mushroom. Wait a minute. If Toadsworth can wave a magic wand, then why doesn't he just wave the wand in front of Bowser Jr. and save the princess instead of having Mario do all the work? And whatever. Now I'm trying to think here. So should I take out the castle? Mm, sure. Now this doesn't make any sense. Well, really, because the toads uh, are. The toads are kind of scaredy cats. So they rely on other people to do the work. And see right now I'm going to show you I'm going to show you how the mini mushroom works. Fail Oh god, that was a fail. <coughs> also as you can see right there. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, as you see there, I had a dry an enemy called dry bones. With fire, dry bones are actually immune to fire. I'm sorry for that, you couldn't see me right there. Just gotta fix the camera, and there we go. Sorry you couldn't see me right there. What I was trying to really say is that Miyamoto makes it, the Nintendo franchise really makes it sure that you can't kill what's already dead. See, as you can see, every single, when you hop on a dry bone's head, they just... Uh, Recombine themselves. So the only way to really kill them is to step on their head and hopefully hope they fall off somewhere or something. Hope they get crushed. You see, hopity hopity hope hop. Now this is actually pretty funny. One, two, three. Conan! I timed it awesomely. I timed it awesomely. Yeah, I'm awesome. Now see, I'm gonna go down right here, and here's the doorway where you press up to enter. Now see, this is probably gonna make me have a lot of outtakes since it took me a little while doing on my first walkthrough of this. But the coin, there we go, get it, no, come on, leap of faith, leap of faith! Oh cool, I actually only did it in one take. That usually takes me so long to do, now, gotta watch out for these spikes, see, they go in and now they each come out, jump, 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 jump and collect the coin, and there we go. Now see it right there, that they're, they're gonna come in on each side. Each time, so you might want to watch out to get crushed and jump, jump, hoop. Okay, there we go. Also, there is actually a special little Easter egg that you probably don't want to know, that you probably know it now. Wait one second. You want to time it so that it's open and beat cannon. And right there, I really oh look at those big dry bones. Hit that, and you get a fire flower. If you are little Mario, if you're just regular Mario, you get a mushroom, of course. Yeah, that's also a thing. If you get, if you're a little Mario and hit a thing that happens like that, then you just turn it. You get a mushroom every time. But if you're Super Mario, and this is, this is, oh, this is the fun thing. Fireball, 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 and dead. 
popped in his head once and then rapidly shot fireballs at him at. That easy. But honestly, the final boss of World 1 is a joke. It's actually very funny. I don't know if it happened in the arena, but it's a joke in this game, so it's actually kind of funny. Okay, so I'm going to end off the video here. I'm going to end up the video here, like it, subscribe, whatever, now whatever you gotta do, and s watch my walkthrough of, uh, in of, s um, s the Simpsons game, and see everybody else's walkthrough on the channel, plus the co-op, see you guys later, bye.